Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and it's pay dirt review time again. And this time we're going to be checking out the seller abprospecting.com and more specifically, their $50 AZAU bag. And I'm pretty excited to go through this bag. It's been on my list forever, but unfortunately they don't have any description on this pay dirt and it has no guaranteed amount of gold. So it's always kind of just been on the back burner. And I had planned on doing a battle with this pay dirt and another Arizona pay dirt, but the other company decided to be difficult. So we're just going to do a pay dirt review on just this bag. And since they don't have a description, there's nothing I can flash up. So let's just go straight to the overhead and check out this bag a little bit closer. As you saw, no description. On the website, all it does is say practice pay dirt and it gives you three different prices, $20, $50, or $100, which is why it took me so long to actually review this pay dirt. Now let's open it up. It does come in a nice bag as well as with a vial that comes in there and a nice card. I have to say, I really enjoyed this card when I saw it in there. It tells you the specific gravity and hardness of 14 common minerals, weight conversion and also the formula to and also the formula to determine amount of gold in a quartz specimen so really nice card a lot of information on this i'll definitely keep this card around on my desk somewhere and got a vial as well now let's open up the pay dirt and see what's inside of it definitely looks like arizona material I will rinse out the bag before the end of this video. So nice dark Arizona man material here. Let's check it for magnetite. It looks heavy in magnetite. That's for sure. It's dark material. There you go. And I forgot to weigh it up. I remembered to use the magnet, but forgot to weigh it up. Let's weigh up the material. See how much it is. We'll do it this way. I'll tear it out. So the material was one pound, 1 1.6 ounces. So you're getting about a pound of material. But let's go classify this down and be right back. Okay, all done classifying. And the reason why I classify my material down is because it does make it easier to pan out, especially the larger material to the finer material. And it also allows me to show you what gold I recover in each classification so you can see how difficult this pay dirt might be for you to pan out. And as you can see in this material, it's pretty equal amounts, less in the plus 10 and a little bit more in the minus 40, but overall pretty equal. We just have to see where the gold is, but the only way to do that is to pan it out. So let's go get some water and do just that.
Well, finished panning everything out as you saw, and that was a little bit of a challenge, but we'll get into that in a minute. For right now, let's show you the gold I found. And I found gold in every single classification, which is really great. I always like it when I can find gold in every classification. Makes it worth actually panning out a certain material. There we go. And now let's start weighing it up from the minus 40 and up. Now this bag had no guaranteed amount of gold, so every little piece I find is needed. At 0 0.44. And as you can see here, I actually found four pieces because I missed two the first time around. Ugh. And you can't tell, but I'm rolling my eyes right now. So there we go. 0 0.745 grams. My guess is when they weighed it up, it might be 0 0.75 and just between my scale and their scale, there is that variation, but 0 0.745 is what I have on my scale. Now for this bag from AB Prospecting, this was a little bit difficult. It had some black sands, a little bit of fine gold, but mostly it really clouded up the water. So for a beginner, I would give this a hard. For an advanced painter, I would give this a medium. And for an expert painter, I would give this an easy. You just have to take your time or go back through your material in case you miss two little pieces of gold in the plus 10 like I did. <laughs> uh. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review. But before we get into that, I need to thank today's sponsors, which are my Patreon members, including my newest one, Alan Curie. So Alan Curie, thank you very much for joining my Patreon page. And if anyone else is interested in supporting this channel, you can check me out at patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting. And now on to the pay dirt. This again was from abprospecting.com. It was their $50 bag. It had no description or guarantee of gold of any sort. Its cost was $50. Shipping was $9. So total cost right here $59. Now the gold I recovered, again, right here, 0 0.745 grams. And I did test out the bigger piece, which was 18 to 22 carats. Now the spot price on the day that this pay dirt arrived was $53.54, making this gold worth $39.89, giving me an ROI of 67.61%, or on my scale, a 6.8. And I don't think that's a horrible ROI for a $59 bag of pay dirt. This is about the price that most half gram bags sell for. So I usually 60% or higher. So it's in there. Not sure it's a great bag or not though. For fun factor, I'm going to leave it at the exact same as the ROI, a 6.8. Now for pay dirt description, this is where it really falls off. And this is what destroys their score they're getting a zero. There's nothing on there. It just says paydirt on their website. Needs a lot more information. So they're just gonna get a zero for that. Quantity and packaging, they're getting a seven. A five for quantity because there's no stated quantity in the description, so default score is a five. And they're getting a nine for packaging. It's a really nice thick Mylar bag and I really like it with the extras added in there. It's nice packaging, so they're getting a nine for that for total score of a seven. For customer service and shipping, they're getting a 10. The customer service was excellent and the shipping was incredibly fast as well. So 10 on that. Giving AB Prospecting's $50 bag a total score of 6.1. Now would I try this paydirt again? Yeah, I think I would. I think I will come back one day and try their $100 bag to see what kind of results I get out of that because I don't think it's a horrible bag, with, especially one with no guaranteed set amount of gold and no description. Getting a 68% ROI isn't that bad. There are some sellers out there who have a guaranteed set amount of gold and you're going to get less than a 68% ROI. So not bad for 59 bucks. And I'll definitely come back and try it again someday. So that's going to be it. 
Thanks for watching. Happy panning. And if you're not already a subscriber, think about hitting that subscribe button below.